Ling Ran crossed into the world where elves and humans coexist, becoming a trainer. It's not an exaggeration for him, who is ordinary, to have three champion-level dragons, right? Since there are three champion-level dragons, it is only natural to subdue Cly. With Darkly, it's normal for Hooper to help him lift the seal easily. Ling Ran, on the path of building his own evil faction lineup, he is going further and further. Shaneo Champion Helona I am not Ling Ran's opponent, he is really too strong. Rocket Team 2nd in Command Sakaki Follow Ling Ran boss, our Rocket Team's plan has never failed. Akira When can the Rockets include us? We also want to follow the leader Ling Ran to catch the Divine Beast. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 1. Obey Me Banhila You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dragon Kingdom, Han Province Han Province is located in the westernmost part of the Dragon Kingdom, which is rarely visited and has a vast expanse of yellow sand. However, it is the favorite habitat for many ground elves. It is summer, and most areas of Han province are directly exposed to strong sunlight. However, ground elves love this hot yet dry weather very much. And this barren Tucker desert is no exception. In the center of the desert, amidst the swirling dust, suddenly a deep yet powerful voice appeared. Three Evil Dragons, Dragon Star Cluster Accompanied by this sound is a terrifying roar of a giant dragon. Roar The majestic roar of the dragon frightened the spirits lurking underground in the quiet desert, causing them to scatter in all directions. Even many elves were frightened by this dragon roar and collapsed to the ground, afraid to move. Immediately after, a second brilliant sun seemed to rise in the sky. Upon closer inspection, one would notice that although it was not the sun, it was a brilliant meteor. The meteor is constantly rising, making all the elves who see it only have eyes of brilliance and panic. Under this extremely beautiful scenery, there is a terrifying killing intent. Before the meteor had set, it caused dust and sand to fly in the center of the desert, as if the entire desert was trembling due to this dragon star cluster. Across from the three evil dragons, there is a huge Banhila. Banhila has a fierce aura and is truly a king-level elf. And the desert is the stronghold of Banhila. At this moment, Banhila stood upright with both feet, her eyes wide open, fiercely glaring at the three evil dragons and his trainer across from her. However, the tightly clenched teeth and slightly trembling body made Banjila's momentum not look as strong. Feeling the power of the dragon stars in the sky, Bongi Lamian Noodles looks dignified. What kind of person is that? The other party's three evil dragon strength, it's simply terrifying. Absolutely the three most terrifying dragons he has ever seen. No. Even the most powerful elf he has ever seen. What's going on in this world? He has been a king-level elf for several years, and during these years, he can be called a domineering figure in this desert. But now, the trainers of the three evil dragons across the street can we say that the outside world is already so terrifying now? Can a child aged seven or eight become a king-level trainer? Banhila swallowed a mouthful of saliva again. Banhila exerted all her strength and summoned a sharp stone, heading towards the rapidly falling dragon star cluster in the sky. Bangi roars. A terrifying roar emanated from Banjila's chest. No, he's the king of the desert. Even if he's afraid of death, he has to stand and die. Yellow sand fills the sky, and the entire desert trembles due to the sharp stone attack of Banhila and the dragon star cluster in the sky. As if the earth is trembling. The dragon star cluster in the sky seemed like a red sun like lava devouring moths, effortlessly disintegrating Banjila's one full strike. Bang, bang, bang. In an instant, a terrifying dragon star cluster descended from the sky and landed next to Banhila. The exploding waves carried yellow sand and sharp air waves, fiercely hitting Banjila's body. 
Just the aftermath, it tore through Banjila's tough skin, causing strong stinging pain to her. What kind of person is he? Looking at Banjira lying on the ground without losing her fighting spirit, Ling Ran nodded with satisfaction. Pop pop pop. The crisp applause rang out out untimely. Ling Ran lightly jumped off the heads of the three evil dragons, with a faint smile on his mouth that was not in line with his age. Not bad, in such a situation where there is such a huge gap in strength, we can barely maintain our fighting spirit. Not bad. Congratulations, you have successfully passed my test. Roar. Test. Banjira roared at Ling Ran. Looking at the desert where I live, it is full of devastation, and the ground seems like the surface of the moon, with pits and depressions everywhere. Moreover, my body was in a state of embarrassment, with small wounds everywhere. Even the entire Tucker Desert was almost destroyed due to this battle. With such a massive momentum and such a terrifying dragon star cluster, in his mouth, it was just a faint and gentle, test. Ban Gila felt bitter inside. What kind of person is he? Roar. What are you doing? Ban Gila looked at Ling Ran with a guarded expression on her face. The dignity of being a king-level elf made him unwilling to take a step back, his eyes fixed on Ling Ran. Roar, roar. Are you the helper invited by Lai Bite Land Shark? Bite the Land Shark fiercely. Ling Ran raised his eyebrows, with a hint of coldness and contempt in his eyes. No, 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 I'm not anyone's helper. I'm here specifically for you. A smile appeared on Ling Ran's lips. The fact proves that this desert trip was not a loss. This Banjira, in terms of strength, potential, and fighting desire, is even better than what I expected. It is not easy to form a team entirely composed of evil spirits. Although there are many evil spirits, there are not many that can catch his eye. And Banhila, like the three dragons, are quasi-divine elves. Enough, leave a spot in his evil lineup. Roar, roar. What exactly is your goal? Banhila roared again. A smile hung on Lingren's small face. Surrender to me, Ban Gila. P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala. Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. 2. Go further and further on the path of evil. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Banjira looked at Ling Ran in silence. If a different trainer were to come, he would definitely refuse without hesitation. In fact, he did not have the idea of following a human trainer. However, although Ling Ran still had a faint smile on his lips. However, Ban Gila dared not refuse him due to the other party's indifferent attitude, instead her heart became increasingly solemn. Ling Ran did not urge Ban Gila, but instead sat comfortably on the head between the three evil dragons, looking at Ban Gila in front of him. As a traveler, I have been in this world for half a year now. In his past life, he lived in a world called Blue Star, and due to an accident, he came to this world. This world is generally no different from previous lives. The only difference is that this world has added magical creatures like elves. And Ban Gila in front of him is the best choice for his second elf in Lingren's mind. Strong in strength and able to take on the position of shields within the team this Banjira, he is bound to take it. However, Ling Ran was not in a hurry, instead he looked at Ban Gila with a relaxed expression in the silence in front of him. He has a considerable level of confidence on his own. Although Ban Gila still looks fierce, Ling Ran knows that for elves, living and becoming stronger is their eternal obsession in their hearts. To achieve this obsession, he is clearly a good choice. So, Ling Ran's heart is not at all flustered. Besides, if Ban Gila really doesn't want to submit, there's nothing she can do choosing another Banjira is not such a remarkable thing. Anyway, what he wants is a team of evil factions, and he doesn't necessarily have to face this Banjira. 
But the calmer Ling Ran became, the more anxious Ban Jira's heart became. Looking at Ling Ran's indifferent attitude, Ban Hila also knew that in this matter, it would not be herself who compromised. Where exactly did the demon come from? Looking at Lingren's arrogant and aloof appearance, Ban Hila gritted her teeth. As the hegemon of the desert, the only thing that can compete with him in the entire desert is the fierce land-biting shark that lives on the other end of the desert. It can be said that the entire desert is controlled by these two elves. Having traversed the desert for so long, he really didn't want to become a human elf. But the key issue now is he can't beat the opponent's three evil dragons. What a powerful strength! Banjila's eyes were fixed on the three evil dragons. These three evil dragons are putting too much pressure on him. He had a feeling that even if it was his own surprise attack, the three evil dragons could easily clean him up. The difference in strength between the two far exceeds their performance in the battle just now. I'm afraid the strength of that three evil dragons is not just at the level of a heavenly king Ban Hila couldn't help but take a step back if the other party's dragon star cluster had just hit their own head I'm afraid I've already become a scumbag. Roar, roar. Can my strength be as strong as him? Ban Hila pointed to three evil dragons. In my eyes, I am filled with longing. Although he has been at the level of the heavenly king for several years. However, Ban Hila feels that there is still a long way to go before she can break through to the quasi-champion level. Even Ban Hila is uncertain whether she will have the chance to break through to the next level throughout her life. If following this young man can help me break through my strength such thoughts flashed through Ban Jila's heart. Ling Ran raised the corners of his mouth slightly and whispered. To be honest, if you keep being as weak as you are now, you have no value to me. Dot. Banjila's eyes flashed with a hint of anger, but more importantly, shock. Weakness. Myself I haven't heard this word for a long time. When was the last time someone called me weak? It seems like many years ago, when I was still a young Kiras and didn't evolve after so many years, how can someone still say they are weak? So how strong are these three evil dragons in front of me? Is it it's a champion level elf? A glimmer of hope flashed in Banjila's eyes. If it would be great if I could reach the championship level myself. If the young man in front of me could break through to the championship level, roar, roar. I am willing to submit. Banjila lowered her proud head. A smile appeared at the corner of Ling Rant's mouth, and the result was no different from what he expected, wasn't it? Ling Ran pulled out a red and white ball from his waist. The red and white ball flew towards Ban Hila. The speed of the red and white balls flying is not fast, and they can easily dodge at the speed of Ban Jira. However, Ban Hila did not make any movement, allowing the red and white ball to hit her face. Ding dong the red and white ball fell to the ground, shook a few times, and then came to a steady stop. Seeing Ban Hila being subdued, Ling Ran's smile seemed to bloom even more recklessly. Evil Army, Third Elf, Banjira, get it. P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala. Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. 3. Helona, something's wrong with you. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. At the same time, in the distance filled with yellow sand, there was a woman wearing a black coat with golden long hair that looked like a waterfall, riding on the back of a blue Tyrannosaurus Rex, rampaging through the desert. The woman looked at the powerful dragon star cluster exploding in the distance, with a serious gaze. Then he lowered his body and said to the fierce biting land shark below him. We need to speed up. If we can't catch up, maybe someone else might catch up with that Banjira. If someone sees this figure, they will definitely exclaim in surprise. After all, the figure sitting on the fiercely biting land shark is the newly crowned champion of the Dragon Kingdom's divine province. Sharona. And what she sat down with was her representative elf, the fierce biting land shark, who had a string of three in the competition. 
As the champion of Shineo province, Hirona has a lot to deal with, and this time she will take some time to come to the remote Tucker Desert. It's also because my old buddy told me that in the Tucker Desert, there is a very powerful Banjira with great potential. If she were to be subdued, with a little cultivation, it would greatly help her strength. So, even though there were a lot of things going on in Shineo province, Helona still took the time to make this trip. However, unexpectedly, it seems that someone has taken the lead now. Feeling the strong vibration coming from the desert and the powerful dragon energy in the air. Ziluona, who had not taken it to heart yet, still couldn't hold her breath. Although she is already the champion of Shineo province, it can be said that she is the strongest group of people in the entire Dragon Kingdom. However, as champions, there were some people who faced each other, and Helona felt that she lacked confidence. For example, Dan D, who claims to be the strongest champion, and Ma Huateng, who successfully rose to the championship with the help of an Emperor Penguin. For these two, Ziluona currently only has the strong biting land shark in her hand to not fall behind. So, this time she came out with the intention of subduing a powerful Banhila. As a quasi-god, Banjila's potential goes without saying. However, after seeing the dragon new group soaring into the sky, the originally slow and leisurely Zyrona's contemptuous heart was also forgotten by herself. Did you feel the strong bite of the land shark? Roar. Mmm. The fierce bite of Lu Shark also roared twice. Ziluona's face was solemn. On weekdays, she is like an elegant and intellectual imperial sister, with many interests and hobbies. But once she enters a combat state, she becomes unusually calm and even somewhat cold. For example, now, the expression on her face shows that she has completely entered a combat state, as if she is an invincible female warrior. The Dragon Star Cluster just now was definitely not created by ordinary elves. It was definitely a champion-level elf. Ziluona furrowed her brows and had a serious gaze. I thought lying down would be a relaxed and enjoyable journey to subdue the elves. But now it seems that things are not that easy. Judging from the prestige brought by the exploding Dragon Star Cluster just now, the power of the elf searching for the Dragon Star Cluster must be quite terrifying. Even not worse than her fierce biting of land sharks. This is extremely terrifying. She is the champion of Shineo province. The undisputed strongest in a province. And biting the land shark fiercely is her ace in the game. And now, with any trainer appearing, his strength can even rival his own. There was a hint of curiosity and a hint of war in Helona's eyes. As a trainer, it is rare to encounter an opponent who is comparable in strength to herself, so Sharona naturally wants to compete with him. But soon, Helona's heart suddenly sank. The purpose of my profession is to come for that Banjira. If it is really taken by the other party, how can you retrieve it yourself? No way. We must hurry up. Helona's face was solemn. This Banhila has the potential to be no less than her ace, the elf that bites the land shark fiercely. If cultivated well, her strength can even reach a higher level. Accelerated, biting the land shark fiercely. Accompanied by a terrifying roar of the dragon, the speed of biting the land shark reached its limit, and the yellow sand flying in the sky behind it seemed to have been thrown away from afar. Another place. Like the surface of the moon, full of craters. Ling Ran withdrew his gaze from the motionless red and white ball on the ground. Pinch the red and white ball in your hand and say thoughtfully. It looks like we're not going so smoothly when we go back. However, that roar must be Miss Sharona's Earth Dragon. It is said that Miss Sharona's Earth Dragon is very powerful and can even compete with some legendary mythical beasts. Xiaohei, do you want to compete with her? The three heads of the three evil dragons were shaking, and a hint of contempt flashed in their big eyes. Ahem, three evil dragons even yawned. Obviously, he is not very interested in fighting against the earth dragon. Ling Ran thought for a moment and agreed. Forget it, let's go first. However, just as Ling Ran was about to leave, 
a piercing sound of breaking through the air appeared not far away. The strong waves swept the yellow sand and forced it into small swirling salon rolls. And a dark blue giant beast's figure also accompanied the wind and sand. On this fierce and violent behemoth, a golden-haired figure fell. Zilyona flipped over and fell, her long golden hair still shining brightly in the vast yellow sand. With a cold, god of war-like face, the champion of Shinao province at this moment looked sacred and inviolable. Stop! Zilyona jumped off the back of the biting land shark and drank from the person and dragon in front of her. Feeling the powerful aura of the three evil dragons, Helona's expression became increasingly solemn. That strong physique, that cold aura, that powerful dragon-like oppressive feeling full of slight pressure the strength of these three evil dragons is probably not under the fierce bite of the land shark. Zilyuona's gaze turned to Lingran. A hint of disbelief flashed through her beautiful eyes, and her mouth slowly opened in an O-dot shape. If she's not mistaken, the trainer of these three evil dragons is it a child who looks seven or eight years old. The confusion in Helona's eyes gradually widened, and her brain even went blank for a moment. A state of trance like this is rare for Helona. After all, in a battle, if you are lost in thought, the outcome of the battle may change. But the scene before her really made Zilyona a bit confused. What kind of monster is this? You're not a dreamy person. Zilyona's gaze seemed to have seen a monster. Ling Ran raised his eyebrows, and a curious expression appeared on his small face, with a hint of playfulness in his tone. Miss Helona, your purpose in making me stand is not to keep looking at me with such surprised eyes, is it? P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. 4. Championship Battle Looking for data You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Tucker Desert rarely welcomes such a lively moment. Even the fierce biting land shark, which has always been known for its dominance in the Tucker Desert, dare not show its head at this moment and is anxious in its own cave. And the yellow sand scattered in the sky like snowflakes, accompanied by dry winds, hitting the face with a piercing pain. Zirona's gaze focused on Ling Ran. For some reason, she always felt that the figure in front of her was somewhat familiar. A hint of doubt appeared on Sharona's cold face however, it was later forgotten. Have you tamed Banhila here? Zilyuona raised her eyebrows and asked. Grasping the red and white ball in his hand, a playful expression appeared on his face. Is Miss Sharona trying to snatch it from me here? Cut. Zilyuona's face flashed with a hint of embarrassment. As the champion of Shinao province, she actually has no right to say such things. Harona disdains to do things like snatching elves. After all, she also has her own dignity. However, right now, she looked at the seven or eight year old child across from her, with a calm and gentle expression on her face, which was quite unpleasant. Zilyuona is even a bit crazy. She's the champion. How many people are proud to be able to chat with her, but now the child across from her is so calm. This has slightly dampened Zirona's pride and self-esteem in her heart. Zilyuona's eyes were fixed on Lingran, trying to see any trace of admiration from the other person's face. Unfortunately, no matter how she stared, Ling Rant's face remained indifferent. It seems that the person standing opposite him at this moment is not a champion, but just an ordinary person. Even, Zilyuona noticed that when Ling Ran occasionally turned back to look at his three evil dragons, there was a sense of agreement and closeness in his eyes, but when he turned to look at her, his eyes were only calm and composed. Zilyuona gritted her silver teeth tightly, and a hint of stubbornness appeared on her cold and stern face. Come on, as a trainer, you won't refuse my demands for war, will you? Zilyuona rarely initiates battles now, usually others come to challenge her. But how did she look today, how did she feel that the child's expression was too unpleasant? Ling Ran said, dot. 
Miss Helona, something's wrong with you. I clearly don't want to fight you, why did you still challenge me? Ling Ran gave a bitter smile. Okay, I would be delighted to play against the champion trainer from Shaneo province. The bitterness that just appeared on Ling Ran's small face, in the eyes of Zyrona, was unwillingness to fight with her. Since becoming the champion, she has rarely encountered moments of such emotional fluctuations. As a champion, she possesses the strength to form an army alone and holds a position above 10,000 people. For example, as the champion of Shaneo province, she holds a significant position in the province. In the current laws of the Dragon Kingdom Alliance, she holds the same status and power as the leader of the alliance in Shaneo province. Zilyona gritted her teeth and secretly made up her mind. When we fight later, I want you to look good. Bite the land shark fiercely, the claws of the dragon. Helona's cool voice rang out in the desert. Accompanied by her voice, there was a piercing sound of a sharp dragon claw breaking through the air. Between them, on the arm fins of the fierce biting land shark, there was a deep blue dragon energy lingering around, so powerful that it almost condensed into a solid entity. The powerful dragon energy converged into a ferocious dragon claw. Dragon claws pierced through the sky and headed straight towards the three evil dragons. What a strong personality! Ling Ran commented. Dragon wave. The three heads of the three evil dragons were high, and surprisingly, a huge amount of dragon energy began to condense from their mouths. The brilliant light converged on the mouths of the three heads of the three evil dragons. Then, three rays of light shot rapidly in one direction. Bang! The energy of the dragon claw and the wave of the dragon collided in the air, emitting a strong wave of air. The yellow sand on the ground and in the air, being impacted, swept, and carried by this wave, spreads out at an extremely fast speed the clouds in the sky were even shaken and dispersed. After this intense collision, the body of the land shark was fiercely bitten, but it took several steps back. Three evil dragons stood proudly in place. Zyrona's gaze was burning as she looked at the three evil dragons on the field, with a combative gleam in her eyes. With just one move, my fierce bite of the land shark has already fallen behind. This situation has not been encountered by Helona for a long time. Even when facing the Dandi, Zilyuona has confidence that her ace, the fierce biting land shark, will not fall behind. But now, this seven or eight year old child has actually achieved it. At this moment, Zyrona no longer regarded Ling Ran as a child, but placed him in a position stronger than her. And she is a challenger. Zilyuona's eyes flashed with a combative gleam. Bite the land shark fiercely, let's keep going. Bite the land shark fiercely, practice dancing. The sharp sword energy swept across, and the yellow sand wave formed by the fluctuation of dragon claws and dragon's movements was instantly dissipated by the sword energy. The misty glow accompanied by sword energy made people feel a chill on their bodies. Banjira in the elf ball couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water, and her massive body trembled slightly. Staring at the two fighting elves in fear. Whether it's biting the land shark or three evil dragons, the strength of these two elves is simply terrifying. Any elf has the power to instantly kill him with just one strike. Ling Ran looked at the fierce biting land shark on the opposite side and used his sword dance. This move is usually used to strengthen skills, but when used by the fierce biting land shark, it actually has a considerable power. However, a faint smile appeared on Ling Ran's face. Xiao He, Provoke. P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala. Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. 5. The Alliance Should Remember. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Sword Dance. Provoking. At this moment, the two trainers issued completely different instructions. I saw the sword dance fiercely biting the land shark, with a strong sword energy, as if ready to wield a sword and fight at any moment. However, 
In the eyes of the three evil dragons, there was a humanized disdain and contempt. The provocative expression among the three big heads was evident. Then, three evil dragons roared. In the sound, the energy of dragon attributes gathered, and under this roar, a hint of killing intent flashed in the eyes of the fierce biting land shark. Later, surprisingly, he gave up the sword dance he was waving, and instead, his whole body was filled with dragon energy. Roar! Roar! Bite the land shark fiercely and let out a roar, feeling extremely disgusted by the gaze and gaze of the three evil dragons across from him. I just want to use the most powerful move to tear down the three evil dragons on the opposite side. Bite the land shark fiercely, calm down. Don't be provoked by the other party. There was a hint of solemnity in Helona's eyes. The opponent's combat experience is even richer than she imagined. The idea of using provocation to target one's own sword dance is truly incredible. This kind of experience of seeing and playing tricks is definitely not something that an eight-year-old child should possess. Who the hell is this person? This is already the third time that this idea has come to Helona's mind. Bite the land shark fiercely, let's use two consecutive strikes. Zyrona's command finally made bite the land shark gradually calm down, and the red light in his eyes dissipated. However, the fierce bite of the land shark calmed down, indicating that this elf's combat power was actually even stronger. The violent body contains explosive power, waving its arm fins like a big knife. Even the air in front of me was easily cut open, faintly forming a vacuum zone. It seems like an air blade from the dimension, cutting through this space. And these two air-sharp blades, like the sickle of death, roared towards the three evil dragons in the air. Ling Rance gaze fixed, and the bond between Ziluona and the three evil dragons was surprisingly deep. Moreover, the strength of these three evil dragons is truly extraordinary, the wave of evil. The three heads of the three evil dragons once again gathered their raging energy. This time, he won't be holding back. This is hostility and respect toward strong opponents of the same kind. Dragons are naturally domineering and fierce, never inferior to humans. And the three evil dragons and the fierce biting land shark are both champions at the championship level, so naturally they will not give up. Now, whether it's biting the land shark or the three evil dragons, there is only one idea in their hearts. Defeat the opponent. Two figures, gathering their wild energy, are rushing towards each other. The next moment. Bang! The deafening roar sounded, and the sweeping waves were even more terrifying than the previous dragon star cluster. At the feet of the fierce biting land shark, a huge and incredibly large hole suddenly appeared. The ground is deeply sinking, and the entire desert is trembling. Because of the war between these two dragons. The wind and waves mixed with gravel made my face ache. Ziluona and Lingran both looked at each other with burning eyes. After a moment, the wind and sand dispersed. In the cave that was tens of meters deep, there stood a towering elf. The fierce biting land shark. There was a hint of peace in Helona's cold gaze. It's okay. Biting land sharks fiercely still has combat power. Subsequently, the gaze towards the three evil dragons in the air became even fiercer. She admitted that she was a bit too big. From now on, you will welcome all the strength of the champion of Shinao province. Ziluona's eyes were filled with a strong sense of war, and then she shouted at the fiercely biting land shark. Bite the land shark fiercely, let the other party taste it, our most powerful ultimate move. Dragon God Diving A strong black-red color appeared on the dorsal fin of the biting land shark. That is a symbol of the convergence of dragon energy to the extreme. This move, even in the league championship battle in Shinao province, Hirona has never been used. Almost no one knows that the most powerful part of the fierce biting land shark's exercise is not its arm fins, but the small protruding dorsal fin on its back. This is the most terrifying part of the land shark that bites fiercely. 
The dragon god diving released by its dorsal fins is naturally incredibly fierce. Ziluona originally intended that this move would defeat the opponent's ace in the battle against Dandi. However, she also knew that if this move was not used today, the fierce biting of the land shark would probably not be a match for the opponent's three evil dragons. Even with this move, Helona had no confidence in her heart. The other party's three evil dragons are really too strong. The scorching desert suddenly lowered the air pressure. The pressure, as if it were the end of the world, made all the elves living in the desert around them flee like crazy. They knew that staying in the desert would have only one fate for them. Touched by the aftershocks of the battle. Countless corpses. Even the fierce land shark that has dominated the Tucker Desert for many years in the distance used a burrow to escape to a depth of several tens of meters below. Zyrona's fierce bite on the land shark's body seemed to be wrapped in a layer of blood-red battle clothes, covered in dragon energy all over, and the energy was even so sticky that it almost condensed into liquid. Watching the fierce biting land shark. Ling Rant's mouth also wore a serious smile. How serious! As expected, Miss Helona. Upon noticing the inexplicable smile at the corner of Ling Rant's mouth, Ziluona was suddenly taken aback. The tone of the other person seems to be very familiar to her however, after searching all her memories, Helona never expected to know such a terrifying child. Dragon Star Cluster when Ling Ran shouted out these three words again. Above high altitude, out of sight. Suddenly, a cluster of stars appeared, as if they were gathered together by some force. Every star is filled with terrifying energy. The brilliant and dazzling stars appeared at an extremely terrifying speed, smashing towards the fierce biting land shark on the ground. The body of the fierce biting land shark turned into a blue light and headed towards the three evil dragons. However, countless stars fell on his head. When the brilliant stars set, they collided with the red and blue intertwined fiercely biting land shark. Boom boom. A vibration stronger than all previous attacks, let out. The huge tremor on the ground made Helona feel a bit unstable. This vibration spread for several kilometers. Even the elves who had escaped to the edge of the desert were shaken and trembling with fear. The ground even collapsed by hundreds of meters. This is actually a terrifying disaster caused by two elves. If this war takes place in a city, it can even easily destroy the entire city. The three evil dragons held their heads high, not looking at the roar on the ground, but instead roaring towards the distant sky. Roar. The roar spread far away. A mocking smile appeared at the corner of Ling Rant's mouth. Miss Helona, haven't you remembered who I am yet? It seems. The Alliance has completely forgotten. But it's okay, I'll make you remember it slowly. P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala. Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. I can't stand this dirty alliance for a long time. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The calm words, however, made Ziluona feel a chill in her heart. Zyrona looked at Ling Rant's calm gaze and could sense a hint of dissatisfaction hidden beneath it. Ziluona looked at Ling Ran with a tense expression as if facing a great enemy. She only felt a heavy pressure pressing on her heart. Ziluona lowered her head and glanced at the fiercely biting land shark, which had completely lost its combat power and had fallen to the ground. Her heart remained unsettled. She didn't know what Ling Ran was going to do, she could only sense the hidden dissatisfaction when the other party just said that sentence. Zyrona tried to recognize Ling Rant's face, but suddenly, her eyes froze and slowly overlapped Ling Rant's figure with a figure in her memory. You are. Ling Ran. A hint of certainty appeared on Sharona's nervous face, and in an instant, all the emotions on her face transformed into joy. I remember, you are the son of the Lingi Heavenly King, Ling Ran. Zyrona's eyes were fixed on Ling Ran, and her delicate face shone with a different kind of brilliance. 
However, amidst this radiance, there is still a considerable shock and a hint of concern. The mocking smile on Ling Rant's face did not diminish as Zirona recognized her, but instead bloomed even more vividly. Although it has only been a little over half a year since I traveled to this world. However, the name Lingi still made Lingren's eyes freeze. Recalling those distant past, a shadow flashed in Ling Rant's eyes. Hee hee, I didn't expect that Miss Sharona, the champion of the Divine Olympics, could still remember my insignificant father. That would be so honored. Dot. Zilyuona forced a smile. Ling Ran, you. Lingi Heavenly King asked me to take care of you before he died. Unexpectedly, I haven't seen you for half a year, and you are already. So strong. There was also a hint of melancholy in Helona's tone. Yes, I seem to have forgotten the instructions from the Lingi Heavenly King. If Ling Ran complains about himself because of this, no matter what, he must extinguish the resentment in his heart. Ling Ran gave a cold smile and didn't say anything. By the way, Ling Ran, aren't you supposed to be at the fighting style dojo in Kanto province? How did you appear in Han province? With your current strength, you can definitely challenge the championship position in Kanto province. Then you will be the top leader of the league. If Lingi Heavenly King knew you were so powerful now, he would definitely be very proud. Zilyuona's tone was a bit excited, obviously happy for Ling Ran. Ling Ran patted the three evil dragons under his body, and then sat on their heads. Staring calmly at Helona. Miss Helona, I am no longer the owner of the Taoist Temple, and I don't want to go back to that dirty place in the Alliance. Without hesitation, he refused. Just kidding. He had already seen through the true face of the Alliance's group of moths. Now that I have finally gained my own power, how could I give up just because of a word from Helona? Besides, that dirty place he is going back, not in his current identity. Zilyuona furrowed her brows and looked a bit confused in her eyes. Listening to Ling Rant's words, it seems that he has had some unknown past with the Alliance. You should know that in the eyes of 99% of the people in Dragon Country, the Alliance is definitely a representative of justice. However, Ling Rant's words contain such strong disgust and malice, which is somewhat thought-provoking. But. Ling Ran, I believe that seeing your current strength, the Alliance will definitely value you. Zirona explained. Reuse me. Like my cheap father. Ling Ran's eyes were full of mockery, and there was a hint of mockery on the corner of his mouth. There was no light in his black pupils. For the mission of the Alliance, he lost his life in the secret realm, but even his son's life became a sacrifice in the power struggle. When he crossed over, the original Ling Ran had already died in a power struggle. Who will remember Lingi's contribution to the Alliance? Who would treat Ling Ran's life as his own? Upon hearing Ling Ran's words, Zilyuona did not refute, but instead closed her eyes in pain. As the champion of the League Shineo province, she is the person who understands the power of the League the most. If the Alliance really remembers and cares about those meritorious trainers who lost their lives for the Alliance. So Ling Ran must be well protected now. However, according to Ling Ran's statement, he must have been involved in a power struggle before. Yes, after the death of the Lingi Heavenly King in the Secret Realm, the Martial Arts Academy is facing a vacancy. Someone must have been sent down to take over the Taoist Temple of Lingi Heavenly King. Just during this process, there may be a conflict between two forces, leading to Ling Ran being homeless. What makes Helona heartbroken is Lingi Heavenly King sacrificed himself while carrying out a secret mission of the Alliance Helona's pupils were filled with pain. If the League knew that they had lost a champion-level trainer due to a small dojo dispute, would they have some regrets? Zilyuona thought for a moment, but then smiled with some relief. No matter whether you regret it or not, in the situation where the Lingi Heavenly King had already sacrificed himself, no one would take the idea of a child over seven years old to heart. After all, what can a child image? Zilyuona no longer tried to persuade Ling Ran and the Alliance to reconcile, 
but instead said. Of course, your strength is indeed strong and will have a significant impact on the alliance, but if you want to overthrow the alliance, it's still not enough. I don't want you to die in vain. Upon hearing Helona's words, Ling Rant's eyes were as deep and profound as deep tan, and the malice contained within was more like ink stains. Miss Helona, don't act like you understand my thoughts very well. Ling Ran had never considered the idea of overthrowing the Alliance's rule before, after all, it was a thankless act. However, upon hearing Helona's words, Ling Ran actually began to think about such things. After all, it would be quite troublesome if there were people from the Alliance to disgust me with every plan I make in the future. It's better to we can simply overthrow it. As for the issue of strength Ling Ran doesn't have much worry in his heart. My own plan, as long as I push it forward for a while, even if it's an alliance, in front of me, it's like a local chicken and a dog. P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. 7. Goodbye, Halona. Find the data. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Miss Helona, I hope you can bring me a new surprise next time we meet. Otherwise, I will be very disappointed. In Ling Rant's eyes, there was a hint of unnoticed disappointment, and Zirona's performance this time made him sigh a little. Originally, apart from a slight surprise, he also had a glimmer of anticipation for Sharona's sudden visit. After all, he has not encountered any opponents worth taking seriously for too long. As the champion of Shineo province, Zerona is undoubtedly the opponent who can arouse his desire to fight. Unfortunately, Helona's performance afterwards left Ling Ran feeling slightly disappointed. Misjudgment of the combat power of both sides, unclear judgment of the situation, slow response, lack of meticulous observation, and even hasty choice of launching the strongest strike. The ultimate result is that even with considerable combat power, Ling Ran still did not feel the thrill of an evenly matched battle. Roar Just after Ling Ran finished speaking, an angry dragon roar suddenly came from beside him. It was the fierce biting land shark lying on the ground injured just now. Biting the land shark fiercely, dragging its scarred body, glaring angrily at Ling Ran, and roaring with anger in its mouth. Although the injuries on his body were severe, the momentum of biting the land shark had no effect at all. After all, for dragon-type elves, a strong physique and powerful recovery ability are standard features. Not to mention the champion-level biting land shark. Roar, roar. Looking at the glaring gaze, the fierce roar of biting the land shark grew even angrier. Ling Ran frowned, even though he couldn't understand Lai Bite Lu Shark's words, he could still guess the reason for Lai Bite Lu Shark's anger. Is it because I feel that my words insulted your director that I am so angry? What a touching bond! Ling Ran gave a slight smile. Although most dragon type elves have a proud personality, as long as they identify their master, their performance must be the most sincere and pure loyalty and they will never be inferior to any other elf. Even though he praised Lai Bite Land Shark, his gaze was still filled with anger, and a fierce light reflected from his claws. And this also made Ling Rant's three evil dragons have a hint of killing intent in their eyes. Two gazes collide again in the air. Unleashing killing intent and dragon power without reservation also lowers the air pressure in this area once again. And just as the two elves were drawing their swords, it was Helona who took the initiative to speak up. Ziluona rarely showed such a fragile expression. In the eyes of outsiders, Helona is definitely a symbol of strength, strength, and coldness. However, today, Helona's emotions were a bit emotional. She hugged the head of the fiercely biting land shark. Sorry for biting the land shark. There was a hint of apology in Helona's clear gaze. She gently caressed the dorsal fin of the biting land shark, as if trying to smooth out all the wounds on her body. The relationship between one person and one dragon is indeed very profound. 
Ziliona did feel in her heart that she had not fully unleashed the power of biting the land shark. Ling Ran is not just a casual fabrication. On the contrary, it is indeed my own performance, which is not as expected. The defeat in this battle is my fault. I did not take on the responsibility of being a trainer, which led to your defeat. I apologize for biting the land shark so hard. Looking back now, although the strength of the three evil dragons is strong, they have not yet reached the point where they can completely crush the fierce biting land shark. If handled properly, the fierce biting land shark still has a 40% win rate. But the current result is that the fierce bite of the land shark suffered a disastrous defeat, without even causing any harm to the other party. Anyway, this is definitely her problem. Exactly. Lai Bite Lu Shark looked at Ziliuona, who was full of self-blame, and also comforted her in a low voice. Don't let your trainer be so disheartened. Just a moment later, just as Ling Ran was about to leave, Halona suddenly lifted her head. His gaze was clear and firm, and there was also an unparalleled firmness in his voice. Ling Ran, the next time we meet, I will definitely surprise you. Don't underestimate me. Zirona's gaze was filled with determination and determination, even with a sense of divinity. Seeing such Ziliuona, Ling Ran was also somewhat surprised. Subsequently, Ling Ran's surprise turned into a smile and he looked at Helona with relief. I look forward to you bringing me a surprise, but since I won today, I won't lose even more in the future. Ling Ran is increasingly looking forward to the next meeting with Zirona, and what kind of surprise the other person can bring him. I believe that by then, this champion from Shineo province will surely make him feel the joy of battle. And he will also mercilessly crush this invincible female god of war again. So, Miss Helona, let's say goodbye. Amidst Helona's complex gaze, Ling Ran flipped over the heads of three evil dragons and left this chaotic yellow sand world. P.S. Newcomer New Book, Seeking Support Lala Lala. Ladies and gentlemen, please have flower evaluation tickets, monthly ticket reminders and rewards, and give whatever you have. Your data is the driving force behind my coding. 8. Rocket Team Leader Looking for data You are listening at Novel Full Audio In a towering building As Ling Ran approached, a red light swept past the entrance. The door filled with a sense of technology automatically opened. Ling Ran took the exclusive elevator and climbed to the 21st floor, where the city scenery was in full view. A hint of relaxation also appeared on Ling Ran's small face. However, just as I was doing my best in my seat, I heard a loud bang coming from the door. Ling Ran leader. Ling Ran leader. Have you come back? A calm man's voice came from the door. However, there was still a hint of anxiety in the man's voice. Ling Ran heard the voice of the incoming person, and a hint of smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Come in. The man pushed open the door and walked in. He is a man in his twenties who looks particularly straight. Despite being in his twenties, he habitually wears formal attire and looks particularly serious. It's a wooden board what's up? Ling Ran casually said the person who came is none other than a wooden board. Not long after crossing over, Ling Ran 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 into the wooden board. At this time, Banmu had not yet established a rocket team. However, at this moment, Banmu is still feeling frustrated because he has not been valued by the Alliance. Ling Ran excavated Banmu, founded the rocket team, and made Banmu the nominal leader. But only Banmu knows that the true leader of the rockets has always been one. Ling Ran Whether in terms of strength or means, Banmu feels that Ling Ran is far superior to him. Let him not even have any second thoughts. Banmo looked at him with a relaxed expression, and his expression suddenly became somewhat angry. Boss, you just left everything about the rockets to me, did you run out on your own? You. Banmo looked at Ling Ran with resentment. Ling Ran waved his hand, raised his eyebrows slightly, and then a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Banmo. You've been handling the rocket's affairs well and haven't disappointed me. 
Clearly, the speaker was an eight-year-old child, but Banmu didn't feel any sense of peace. On the contrary, his body was stiff and his face showed a rather honored expression. Boss, you don't know how anxious I am when you're not at the base, afraid that something might not be handled properly. Banmu looked at Ling Ran with admiration. As long as Ling Ran is at the base, he has confidence in his heart. This is the confidence brought by Lingren's powerful strength. Although Banmu doesn't know how Ling Ran did it, he has such strong strength at this age. By the way, boss, the rocket's strength has expanded significantly recently. Recently, some senior officials have been added. Do you want to meet them, boss? Give me their list, Ling Ran said. Then, Ling Ran took the tablet handed over by Ban Mu and looked at the familiar names on the computer. Reams, Ramda, Athena, Apollo Bixia suddenly, a name jumped into Ling Ran's eyes. Hmm. This person. Ling Ran's fingers stopped on the tablet screen, while his slender fingers pointed towards a photo. Looking at the photos on the picture and the various materials attached below, Ling Ran's eyes narrowed slightly, revealing a thoughtful expression. This person seeing Ling Ran's slightly surprised expression, Banmu immediately approached and frowned slightly when he saw the photo pointed at by Ling Ran. Boss, is there any problem with this person? She recently joined the rockets, but her strength cannot be underestimated. She has completed several tasks well, so I also plan to promote her to a cadre this time. Banmu's eyes were filled with inquiry and nervousness. Afraid of doing something wrong. Although Ling Ran may not necessarily blame him, Ban Mu is still very nervous. Well, it's okay. Ling Ran's fingers just paused for a moment before continuing to flip down. This person is known by Ling Ran. To be precise, it is known by Ling Ran. I saw that Ling Ran's finger was pointing towards a woman. Her eyes were large and narrow, revealing a cunning expression resembling that of a fox. The expression on the face gives off a sinister villainous character feeling, with hair tied in strange and peculiar shapes. And below this photo, the person's name is written. Saki. Ling Ran knows that this person is not in this world, but in a past life. She appears to be a cadre of the rockets, but in reality, she was captured by the Galaxy team as an undercover agent lurking in the rockets. And this is just one of her identities. Apart from having a cadre status in these two antagonistic organizations. In the special episode of Pet Elves in His Past Life, Satch was also a special existence shrouded in mist. Even powerful enough to defeat Kona, one of the four heavenly kings of Guandu at that time. And this is just one of her achievements. You should know that at that time, Sachai was not yet in a period of complete victory. Later, in the chapter of Ruby and Emerald, Sarge even turned against the two men, Wudong and Red Flame Pine, and they were so stupid. Moreover, these are not yet the biggest mysteries of Saki. Ling Ran's eyes showed a hint of interest, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Darkly, what an unexpected harvest. The reason why Ling Ran mentioned Dark Lai is also very simple. In the anime, Saki once commanded Darkly, or in other words, Saki had a Darkly in his hand. Ling Ran touched his chin, and the corner of his lip slightly curled up, from the information he already knows, Saki is definitely not a simple character. Whether it is the war between Shun and Ibo Wudong and Chiansong in Fongyuan area, or the rockets and galaxy. Several antagonistic forces, among them, all have the figure of Satch. Moreover, she even owns a divine beast. Darkly. Will this character be a simple one? Behind her, there must be other secrets hidden. What's wrong? Boss, if this person has any problems, I won't promote her temporarily. Banmu saw that Lingren's expression was a bit strange, so he quickly asked for advice. No, you can do whatever you want without paying attention to her. Ling Ran put down the information in his hand. Then, stretching lazily, he said. All right, to be honest, it's time to meet my group of subordinates too. Banmu immediately straightened his body and said with a serious expression. 
Yes, boss, they should know who their true leader is. P.S. Woo 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 woo. There are no flowers or evaluation tickets. I don't know if the readers I wrote like it or not. If you find it I dot catching, just give me some free data. Flowers, highly praised. Kneel down and thank you. 9. You have disappointed me, Sakaki. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Black Luga. Spray flames. In the empty rocket's training ground, a sharp shout suddenly came from the air. At the next moment, a handsome and powerful canine Pokemon appeared on the training ground, running with all four limbs, spraying a strong and powerful pillar of fire towards the front. The blazing pillar of fire burned fiercely and fiercely, shooting at the lazy three evil dragons on the opposite side at an extremely fast speed. However, the three evil dragons on the opposite side, even when facing this fiercely burning hot flame, let that flame engulf and engulf them, without any fluctuation in their eyes. It seems that it is not a burning flame, but just some small flames that can be easily extinguished. Not only that, the three evil dragons didn't even blink their eyes. Ling Ran also sat on the sidelines with a calm expression, with an incredibly relaxed smile on his face, as if he was playing with ease and freehand brushwork. The three evil dragons seemed to lack energy at all, and one of them yawned on the head. A wicked wave spurted out from the mouth. A malicious and full of light quickly condensed from the air, and the violent and evil energy gathered on the training ground. Just looking from afar, one can feel the terrifying and heart-stopping energy contained within it. Roar. The light emitted from the mouths of three evil dragons collided with the flames of Black Luga's jet. Like the melting of ice and snow, the light of the jet flame in front of the waves of evil is like fireflies to the bright moon. In an instant it was swallowed up completely. The light of the wave of evil seems to be a terrifying move that tears apart space. As the black hole like waves of evil approached him, a humanized panic and dark color appeared on Black Luga's face. Apollo beside him, with a tense expression in his eyes and a look of unwillingness on his face. When the boss brought this eight-year-old child, he thought he could easily defeat him with his own strength. Unexpectedly, with just one move, Haluga couldn't bear it at all. Is oneself so vulnerable to a single blow? On the training ground, as the evil wave was about to hit Kuruga. Suddenly, a cold sound came from the side. Cross-shaped bat. Steel wings. But Athena, who was also a member of the rocket team, shot out from the side. However, to Athena's surprise, the three evil dragons had no intention of stopping. The other of the three heads also emitted a vicious wave from its mouth. The massive energy and terrifying aura are no different from the first wave of evil. How could it be? Athena exclaimed in surprise. These three evil dragons won't be able to cast three skills at the same time. The ferocious black light also included the cross bat in the attack range. Just as it entered the attack range of evil wave, the cross bat felt as if it was enveloped by the light of death. There's nowhere to escape. Pine. Accompanied by two muffled sounds of falling to the ground, the cross bat and Haluga both fell to the ground. In just a blink of an eye, Ling Ran achieved victory. The battle started suddenly and ended even more suddenly. The joint attack of the two major cadres of the rocket team did not make any progress. Even the full strength of the three evil dragons was not forced, and they were easily killed by the three evil dragons. Well done, Xiao Hei. Ling Ran stroked the heads of the three evil dragons and praised them before retrieving them. In his opinion, the strength of the current rocket team members is similar to that of kindergarten children. It's not worth his all. And on the other side. The rocket team officials also looked over curiously especially for the two of Apollo and Athena who had just fought, their eyes were filled with fear and curiosity. I feel a bit unwilling, especially after training for so long, but being easily defeated by an eight-year-old child. This made them even more unwilling, let alone in front of the boss. If the boss of Banmu thinks they're useless, it's terrible. 
Among the cadres, Saki looked at Ling Ran with curious eyes. His eyes widened with some surprise and disbelief. Obviously, Ling Ran's strength also exceeded her expectations. Athena, Apollo, and other members of the rocket team walked over and looked at Ling Ran. There was a hint of vigilance and even fear in the eyes of several people. Just now, the three evil dragons easily disintegrated the alliance between the two cadres. Others felt that even if they went up together, they might not be a match for the three evil dragons at all. Especially, the three evil dragons didn't even catch a single breath until the battle was over. What a damn absurdity! Moreover, they only noticed now that as the trainer of the three evil dragons, sitting by the sidelines, they didn't even give a command. What does this mean? Fighting them saves even the command, right? This has caused the rocket's officials, who have always believed they are not inferior to others, to put on expressions of displeasure. If it weren't for I can't beat you, I'll have to beat you up, you little brat. Looking at your calm gaze makes me want to hit you. Seeing a group of cadres walking over, Banmo quickly stood up straight and coughed at everyone. Today, I'm calling everyone here to announce something important. Ban Mu glanced at Ling Ran, who was still sitting in the seat by the sidelines, his eyes slightly narrowed, and there was no expression on his face. Ban Mu turned his gaze to Ling Ran. Today, mainly to let everyone get to know him. A group of rocket team officials followed Ban Mu's gaze and looked over. But I saw Ling Ran still sitting in his seat, closing his eyes and recuperating. Apollo had always respected Banmu the most. At this moment, even though he had just been defeated, Apollo still exclaimed sternly. You guy, even the leader of the board is standing. Why are you sitting? You must be disrespectful to the leader of the board. Don't be so arrogant just because you have some strength. You should know that you are currently in our rocket team's territory. Ling Ran's tightly closed eyes suddenly opened and emotions could not be seen in the pitch-black pupils. But he didn't look at Apollo, instead he looked at Banmu with a calm tone. Banmu, do your subordinates dare to interrupt at will when you're talking? Banmu was startled in his heart, and sweat immediately broke out on his forehead. When asked by Ling Ran, Banmu immediately panicked. I'm sorry, boss, I... I didn't manage them well. I'm sorry. Ban Mu immediately bowed to Ling Ran without stopping. And all of this, in the eyes of everyone on the rockets, is completely dumbfounded. Everyone held their breath, even the unruly Apollo just now remained completely silent. Stupid as a chicken. P.S. also doesn't know if the readers he wrote like to read it. If you find it i.catching, just give some free data. Flowers, highly praised. Kneel down and thank you. 10. People who drag their feet will really die. Seeking. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Banmu, how did I tell you? Ling Ran looked at Banmu casually. Banmu stared intently at the tip of his shoes, afraid to look at Ling Ran's gaze. Compared to Ling Ran's punishment or scolding, he is more afraid to see Ling Ran's disappointed gaze. Dida. Sweat dripped from Banmu's forehead, and his hands tightly grasped the seam of his trousers. Hmm. There was not much emotional fluctuation in Ling Ran's gaze. Just for now, the atmosphere of the entire training ground is somewhat solemn, and no one dares to speak up. Everyone held their breath. Banmu raised his head and cautiously said. You said. The rocket team needs to have a military-like iron-blooded style. Every cadre, if taken out alone, must have the strength not to be inferior to the heavenly king. Upon hearing Ban Mu's words, Ling Ran's eyes remained calm, and his pitch-black pupils seemed to be able to absorb all the light. Did you do it? Sorry, boss. Ban Mu kept bowing. Seeing the disheveled appearance of Ban Mu, Athena, Apollorans, and Ramda, who had been following Banmu for the longest time, flashed a hint of unwillingness in their eyes. They followed Banmu the longest and were naturally loyal to him. Although Banmu respects Ling Ran, 
it does not mean that they respect Ling Ran. At present, seeing that Ban Mu is so humble, several people are somewhat dissatisfied in their hearts. If not, because Ling Ran's strength is too strong. They might have taken action a long time ago. Lingren's gaze swept over Athena and the others, as if examining them. Annotated by the fierce gaze, several people felt like they were facing a great enemy and sitting on pins and needles. They looked nervously at the towering figure, feeling a heavy pressure pressing down on them. Seeing the suddenly serious faces of everyone, I didn't know why and suddenly burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. The crisp laughter echoed through the training ground of the rockets, making Banmu and several senior rockets officials feel cold all over. Soon, the laughter stopped. Ling Ran adopted his cold gaze, which he didn't know when, and looked coldly at Ban Mu. The curvature of the corners of the mouth is also devoid of any warmth. Ban Mu, is this the explanation you gave me? I gave you half a year, the best resources, to manage the rocket team I founded, but the result was so weak and unbearable. Do you think this team can bring me any help? In the tone of Ling Rant's tone, there is no concealment of dissatisfaction with the rockets. At the same time, there is also a strong sense of disappointment towards plywood. In those black pupils, there is endless malice at this moment. Banmu, if you're not standing in front of me, it's the champion of Shinao province, Halona, other champions of the league, or our goal, a divine beast, what kind of role can you play? Can you keep up with me and become my support? Or rather, you will only become my burden. Ling Ran's tone suddenly rose high, and the tone was not overflowing with words. Ling Ran is very powerful, and even one person can be a thousand soldiers and horses, and one person is an entire army. But what about them? What is the meaning of their existence? What Ling Ran needs is not a group of incompetent subordinates who can only do miscellaneous tasks, but rather subordinates who can truly take charge and become their own helpers. Leaving aside the matter of divine beasts, the current alliance is already able to suppress all evil forces and make them gasp for breath. Whether it's the Water Aero Lava team active in Fongyuan province, or the Plasma Galaxy team, and so on, they can only survive under the pressure of the Alliance. Besides the Alliance, there are definitely hidden forces in this world that they currently do not even have the qualifications to connect with. For example, what is the origin of the mysterious sage? Or perhaps the mythical beast male Dakoto? Although he has not yet encountered Dakdo, Ling Ran always has a premonition in his heart that one day he will encounter Dakdo. As long as his purpose is also the words of the divine beast. However, if he wants to achieve his goals, what role can the rockets play in it? Dot. Banmo closed his eyes in pain. As the apparent leader of the rockets, among the crowd present, only he had the most contact with Ling Ran. It can be said that Ling Ran's strength is a step-by-step -step strengthening that he has witnessed firsthand. If we follow the current development speed of the rockets, it won't be long, six months, and the rockets will have no value for Ling Ran anymore. Ban Mu felt his lips dry and his whole body icy cold. The despair and pain of being abandoned by Ling Ran made him unwilling to face it. Boss. No matter who the enemy you are facing, I won't hold you back. Ling Ran's hand supported Ban Mu's shoulder, which was constantly bowing, and a hint of warmth reignited in his eyes. Ban Mu, I believe in your loyalty and faith, but your methods of training them are too gentle. Ling Ran's gaze wandered back and forth on the few people, and then he stared solemnly at them. Although your current strength is weak, there is still potential in you. Do you have the determination to give your life? Upon hearing Ling Ran's words, several people clenched their fists, feeling extremely ashamed inside. Being scolded by an eight-year-old child with a head-to-head -head scolding. However, I am also aware of the gap between them and Ling Ran. This gap, even if they work together, or even add planks, is not a clear opponent. Apollo straightened his neck and was the first to answer. Yes. As long as I can become stronger, I am willing to do anything. 
A hint of surprise appeared in Ling Rant's eyes, and he didn't expect Apollo to be the first to speak. However, it is also true that among several cadres, Haluga's potential can be considered good. Most of the elves in the hands of other cadres are not as powerful as Black Luga. Ling Ran nodded. At this point, others also agreed one after another. Ling Ran didn't care if they were sincere or insincere, and a hint of mockery smiled at the corners of his mouth. A useless person. Will really die. P.S. also doesn't know if the readers he wrote like to read it. If you find it i.catching, just give some data. Flowers, evaluation tickets, monthly tickets for reminders and rewards. Kneel down and thank you.